Nissan's intelligent mobility vision is to develop AD technologies for use in all our cars in any area of the world. The Human Drive project allows us to develop that for the European driving scene, um, which is seen as challenging because of the varied road structure that you have. Country lanes um, where there is no white lines on the roads and no curbs around roundabouts and fast speed motorways. Atkins has been responsible for leading the cyber security work in Human Drive. Uh, focused on ensuring that we understand the security challenges within the human drive ecosystem. One of the key areas of impact is all around the testing of connected and autonomous vehicles. It's a really big area for the UK at the moment um, and I think what's really important is being able to do it safely. What we've been attempting to do is examine the impact of autonomous vehicles on the strategic road network. Now that involves looking at motorway operation and a road operation as well. The vehicle has a number of perception systems based on radar, lidar and camera and it uses these systems, fusing them together to build up a perception of the world around it. It's not just a technology challenge but how do you make this experience of riding in an autonomous vehicle as natural um, to the customer as possible and to make it feel that they're just driving in another car rather than automatically feeling they're being driven in a very robotic manner. In Human Drive Project, we have used uh, artificial intelligence technology which helps us in the human-like behaviour for autonomous driving. So most of the current autonomous vehicle projects um, are following a set of predefined uh, driving rules and modes. During the Human Drive Project, we developed uh, an easily con con reconfigurable AI technology that enables autonomous vehicles to have different driving styles for different people. Um, so for example, when we manoeuvre around a parked vehicle, we might give quite a lot of space and then speed up and drive quite smoothly around it. Um, whereas some of the CAV development where it might be quite binary, it might stop behind the car, then creep round and back in again. So that's what's fascinating and exciting about Human Drive because we will make the controllers of the vehicle more comfortable, more human-like, so that it feels nicer to be in these automated vehicles, especially when they're coming to a stop or going round sharp curves. So Human Drive has brought some very advanced technology into the UK. We've brought together a lot of very good partners. We've shown that the UK is a really great place to be doing testing with these challenging roads and that the UK government is yeah, providing really good support for, for these sorts of trials. The thing I've enjoyed most about working on this project is being at the forefront of innovation, I think, being able to work on these new technologies, but to have a hand in developing them to a point where they could eventually become part of everyday life that we see on the road. My name is Bob Bateman. I'm the senior engineer for the research and advanced engineering team um, based down in Cranfield. My involvement in the Human Drive project is I'm the project manager for Nissan. The Human Drive project is one of many consortium projects that have been run by UK government CCAV uh, group, um, which are funded, funded projects. Um, but the Grand Drive achieves one of the most complex AD um, journeys of, of all of them. We've also achieved 232 miles travelling from Cranfield to Sunderland, and by far that is the greatest distance of them all. The Grand Drive and the Human Drive project has allowed us to show how we can drive with AD technologies in the European driving scene. Not only on fast moving motorways and A-roads, but also down country lanes and roundabouts. Um, all of this can be done as well in a human-like driving style, which supports both the customer for both safety and also comfort. There are nine partners involved in the Human Drive project, all of which have taken part in some form or another in the Grand Drive. However, I think Leeds University and Hitachi have supported greatly with some of their AD technologies, which have then contributed in the, in the Grand Drive. And then you've got Cranfield University, um, CPC and Highways England, who have supported in some of the pre-trials and the activities and the general project management, allowing us to make the journey. I should also mention CCAV, the, uh, the UK government's uh, funding body, uh, Centre for Connected and Autonomous Vehicles, um, who have allowed us, basically, to be able to do this demonstration work in the UK.
If I'm honest, I'm very proud at the moment um, because the team has worked very hard over the last two years to deliver this project and they've delivered it so well with the technologies and it's really good to demonstrate it on this 232 mile journey from the sites from Cranfield to, uh, uh, to NMUK. Human Drive is focusing on human like autonomous driving in various UK road uh, situations. Grand Drive is more than 200 miles long journey and uh, through this project uh, we are developing many functions uh, for various uh, road environment. A safety driver is inside the car but he don't touch the steering and the AD system drive the car itself. In the Grand Drive journey, uh, I'm going to be an operator. Um, so I'm going to be actually looking at one screen, but a lot of windows. And each of the window will tell me a particular uh, thing the vehicle is uh, understanding. For example, what the vehicle sees around, uh, um, like there are lots of lanes, but a lot of other cars, whether they are merging or not. So I'm just observing, and if there is something, then I need to notify our pilot. We are going to combine not only the country road driving, but also motorway driving. And then again, there will be country road driving when we reach the destination, which is NMUK. Um, also, there are several uh, key bits like roundabout merging at a very high speed. Um, plus traffic light and making a decision for the traffic light and then lane changing and then merging from the motorway. So those kind of things are quite interesting. Our autonomous vehicle has a, a, an interesting feature wherein um, it's a display which tells the AD validator or passenger um, what's coming up next. So for example, if the vehicle slows down, um, then why it slowed down? Maybe it's a corner, maybe there is a stop coming up uh, because we are at a junction. Um, uh, so this is displayed to a passenger and it's what you will see potentially in the future. Conditions have been a bit tricky. There's been a lot of spray on the motorway and some traffic, so that can cause the sensors a bit of trouble, but it's gone really well so far. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it feels so good to complete the Grand Drive. And, you know, we've had two years building up to it. Um, so yeah, just really happy. Cannot believe it, but yes, we have done it. That's great. Uh, really, really happy. It's the best moment right now. Today, the weather was not perfect because partly rainy and partly windy, but our AD system can, could handle that situation very nicely. Yeah, so I'm very happy. Yeah, around the Sunderland area, we have various situations, for example, runabout and the traffic right, but uh, our system could handle the situation perfectly, so I'm happy for that. Is it done? Yeah. Yep, we are ready to go.